Hi, my name is Mark from Stick and Rudder Studios. I'm here today to show you how to set up uh, X Camera, which is our newest X Plane plugin. X Camera is basically an enhanced view system for X Plane 9 and 10. Um, and what it allows you to do is set up multiple view categories and multiple camera views within those categories. Very similar to uh, what you can do with uh, Pilot View. And for those of you who have been uh, FSX users, you may have used uh, Easy Dock, Easy CA, which is the enhanced uh, camera add-on for FSX. So um, X Camera is uh, really trying to do uh, a lot of what those things do and uh, integrates very nicely with Track AR and uh, a great plugin from SimCoders called uh, Headshake. So what I'm going to do today is kind of show you how you uh, go about setting it up and uh, uh, get it going. So I'm uh, right now in the Carinado uh, B-58, which is a great uh, payware aircraft. And uh, I've got X Camera installed. And what I'd like to show you a little bit here is the kind of things you can do with X Camera. And first thing I'll do is I'll kind of bring up the um, control panel here. And you can see in the control panel, I have the ability to uh, define up to 10 uh, different categories. Here I've got some categories of cockpit. I have one for external flight cabin, and external inspection. You can also have within each category multiple camera views. So in the cockpit I've got a pilot view, I've got one of instruments, I have another one of the radios, switches, etc. And you could set up as many of these as you want. Within each view you've actually got a number of different um, options that you can turn on or off. Uh, X camera is completely integrated with the track IR so as you can see here in the pilot view I've currently got this shut off but if I enable it I can now look around uh, you know the cavern using uh, the track IR head tracking software. You also have the ability to enable whether you want a smooth transition or an immediate transition so you can see here that if I come off of this camera when I go back to it it'll snap back immediately or I can do something like a very smooth transition like this. Uh, we've also, I have an integration with SimCoder's HeadShake uh, um, plugin. And what HeadShake does is it'll monitor the uh, G-forces on the aircraft and will actually apply some camera shake based upon those G-forces. So what we can do here with X camera is we can enable or disable this okay with any particular view. Um, you know, as an example here within the cockpit view, uh, you know, being uh, kind of looking out the window as the pilot, we probably would like to have that uh, head shake, um, you know, add-on enabled so that you kind of get the true effects of what's going on from a GeForce perspective. But potentially when you're having a close-in view of, let's say, instruments like this, you may not want that enabled so that it's really easy to, you know, come in and, and click on switches and dials and things like that without the camera shaking around. Sort of a similar idea of having uh, the track IR disabled for that particular view. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, what I'm going to do is turn on track IR here. So we've got both track IR and we've got uh, head shake enabled. And let's fire up the aircraft here. And you can actually kind of get a sense of what this looks like, you know, when you've got these all in together. And as you can see, the uh, you, know, you can see that the camera is shaking here a little bit as the engine started up. But if you'll notice, if I come in here like this, view is nice and stable. You've also got the ability, as I said, to um, have track iron enabled or disabled. So let's go to kind of some of my external views here. Here I've got one of the tail, and you can see I've got track iron enabled. And I can look around, but then I've got some other views here that are set up like the you know, starboard uh, quarter, you know, maybe even something on the front. And in these cases, I don't have track IR enabled. So in here, I can look around. In here, I've got it shut off, so I can't look around. You can also assign um, either joystick uh, buttons or keyboard keys to basically advance, you know, to different views and different categories. So I've got, in this particular case, I've got my... Uh, SciTech yoke button set up so that I can advance to different categories. Here I'm looking at one where uh, I'm kind of in the passenger seat on the starboard side. I can also switch over and take a look at what it's like looking at the passenger seat on the port side. I've got buttons that can immediately go back to uh, my pilot view. 
and toggle through these various views here very quickly. And uh, that kind of gives you an idea of the kinds of things you can do with that. So this was, uh, uh, I think, a very short tutorial on how you set up X camera. Um, and uh, I suggest what you can do is you can download it from our website, stickandrotorstudios.com. Or you can also go to uh, xplane.org and you'll find X camera in the uh, downloads area. Uh, give it a try. Really would love to have your feedback on what you think of it. And it's a relatively new plugin. We still have a lot of enhancements that we're doing to it. So interested in your feedback and see if we can't make this uh, something that's really valuable to our X-Plane community. Thank you very much for watching.